Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. My firm has a primary focus on family law, and today we're going to talk about the penalties as it relates to domestic violence. Now, there are two types of issues with penalties and domestic violence. You know, domestic violence is a crime. It's uh, an assault and battery of sorts. It's at its lowest level, still a misdemeanor for which a person could go to jail from zero days up to 93 days, maybe more, depending on what exact jurisdiction you're in, whether or not it's the first offense or second offense or whatever. Um, but it does have a criminal connotation. But apart from the criminal connotation, the presence of domestic violence in the household is something that the court could use to determine custody issues and parenting time issues. So for example, if the court feels that um, there's a strong presence of domestic violence in the house, the court might say that I'm giving you the custody, he's got a domestic violence issue, I'm still going to let him have parenting time, but it's got to be supervised. You see, the court could impose that as a sanction or as a safeguard as it relates to domestic violence. Um, but, you know, you got to remember one thing too, the court has to, is always concerned about the best interests of the child. So if husband and wife get into a domestic violence situation and there's some tussling and shoving or whatever, but the child is not involved, and there's no history that the child saw this, there's no history that this was in any way impactful of the child, and the only way the child even knows about this is if, you know, the other party discloses it to the child, in that circumstance, don't expect it to have the same weight on the custody issues as it would if the child was the victim or if the child was directly and intentionally exposed to the domestic violence. If you have any questions about that, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.